Hi, welcome to Crafty Crafts at Sky Alice Jesse. My name is Debbie. Thank you so much for taking time out to press on to my channel. Well, today we're going to wrap a single rose and add a bit of my favourite part, some bling. So let's get started. So obviously you're going to need a single flower of your choice, either silk or fresh. You're going to need some clear wrapping paper. Um, the length is the length, the length of the paper. I'll just adjust it a bit. The length of the paper is the length of the rose. And the width across is about 30 centimetres. You're going to need a glue gun. Or if you're not using a glue gun, you can use some super glue. Also, you're going to need a bit of sellotape, just a little, just a little bit of sellotape. I've got a little bit down here, how organised I am. You're going to need a pair of scissors and some gorgeous diamond border. I've already cut mine, but you can cut yours to the width or length you want. And also, if you're using one of these, which I've already cut. So let's get started. So first of all, just place your single flower at the edge of the wrapping paper and then start to turn the wrapping paper. Start to turn the head of the rose inside the wrapping paper and hold the edge of the stem and keep rolling forward. Keep rolling forward until you get to the edge and bring this across get to the edge and get the little bit of tape you only need a very small amount of tape I've got this amount and just stick that to the edge stick that down to the edge so it should look like this okay just give that a little straighten up it should look like this and then we're going to cut some of it only cut the top but just to here so let's just cut the top but leave some some here and then we're going to place it's best to place the rose between your knees and then make sure your glue gun is glued in right now just adjust the camera make sure your glue gun is You've got the glue sticks in and you have it plugged in. OK, so now we have already cut the diamond border to a row of three. Just going to cut a little bit off the edge, but we've cut it to a row of three. You see, and then we're going to add a bit of glue of the glue to it, the back of it. Give it a little a little squeeze you have to be a bit careful because it can be a bit very hot and also too much of it can be too much so then we're going to take the top of it try and hold the bit where there's no glue I know it's a bit difficult and we're going to press the edge of it so two of it is sticking out so just the edge a row of two and then we're going to squeeze this downwards hopefully you know you know, make sure you've got enough glue or you can just add a bit of glue but we're going to just fold add a little bit more glue to the top and then we're going to just fold it in just fold it around the edge slowly fold it round you're going to pick up some little strands on your fingers at the same time so make sure that there's two on the outside I'm going to just squeeze that down there's two on the outside and one on the inner on the inner edge I'm going to just give it another little press so I'm just going to 
finish off filling that gap just going to hold it between the knees I think that's the best way going to remove the excess glue from my finger so I can work better and then I'm going to just measure here so it can join it so about here put my finger here give it a cut and then we're going to just measure it again so that should be enough to just go on the top so let's add some more glue at the bottom part and the top part can be a bit fiddly and be careful with the glue because it's quite hot and then we're going to measure it so that it meets the same place yes it's let's push it up a bit yes it's e almost even and then we're going to just tuck it just tuck it in so that it looks almost the same just going to tuck in the top So you see it looks almost, there's a little bit of gap so just going to add a little bit of glue and then push and squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it all the way round and check that it's all even. And then if you've got any excess, excess glue just leave it on to dry and then peel it off. And then, so you see here? all glue all glued on a little bit of glue there so we're going to just remove that from there and this is a row of four that's going to place it here so we're just going to measure see where it can because people normally hold it here so we want to just yeah just cut a little bit of it and we are going to just measure it it's still a little bit too long so I'm going to cut two more it's easy to cut cut two more rows off of it and then we're going to just measure it round yeah so it should be about here will do then we're going to use our glue gun again and we're going to add glue going upwards just got a little bit stuck there because it's quite a fiddly glue but it's quite a good glue though just add a bit of glue going downwards so have to be a bit careful and when we're going to place it around here and turn 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 and just bring it a little bit across there and touch that so if you get a little gap like I have, I'm just going to remove this from my fingers. If you get a little gap, that doesn't matter because you're just going to cut some more and add. I'm just going to cut a bit more and we're going to add so that it's all nice and covered. So I've got, and if you want a little bit more here a bit more gem I've got one that I've already cut so I've cut it I'm going to just pull the rows up and then push it downwards inside the center a little push down into the center but sometimes it's a bit too long so I'm just going to cut it again Going to remove a bit of glue from my fingers i've cut it again and i'm going to push it in the middle so that's better there's a going to push it right into the center so you see there so thank you so much for watching my channel 
if you've got any questions or comments please leave it down below if you like this channel please give it a like please give it a share please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe please remember to hit the notification button so thank you so much for watching my channel bye for